members of NATO, we all share a common goal baked in the history of this unwavering alliance. We are one NATO army. We've aligned uh, 10 other nations with over 600 special operations forces. We're not only building up our readiness uh, and our interoperability uh, with our allies and partners, uh, but we're also working on our relationships. We get to see people that we don't actually work with all the time. So we have the whole squadron here from 1153 CAV, from the National Guard from Florida, also working with the Macedonian Army. That's a once in a chance, once in a lifetime chance. You know, anytime you're able to do joint training, um, you know, with foreign armies in, in uh, other places, that's always a great experience, not only for our soldiers, but for their soldiers, and it just strengthens that partnership between our countries and our nations uh, for future operations. See, each step of these exercises come together, the communications, the soldiers on the ground, the armor, uh, even the aircraft overhead. Um, you don't realize how complicated it is to put all of that together and then to execute it so flawlessly. With our allies from United States of America, Bulgaria and Greece, we executed the exercise Decisive Strike 21 during the past two weeks. And today we are at the finish of a marathon here in Camp Strel. Let me, as director of the exercise, to say clearly that Decisive Strike Exercise 21 under the Defender Europe 21 exercise umbrella has achieved its goal. We, we have strengthened the combat readiness of the participating units in the exercise and increased interoperability between our armies.